What I miss? Let's find out. Despite Comcast coming in with a last minute bid, Fox decided to go on with Disney's deal. Now, I, I could go on about how I completely disagree with Disney purchasing these assets, along with Comcast wanting to purchase them as well. I could go on about how I feel hella uncomfortable with Disney growing as big as it has been recently, and the fact that they now own the IPs to Alien and Predator come 2019. And I could get on my soapbox about how Disney is steadily taking over Hollywood and needs to be stopped, but clearly y'all don't want to hear about that shit. Hell, y'all probably didn't even understand the first sentence that came out of my mouth regarding this story because some of y'all, let's just be honest, only care about one fucking thing about this deal. So if that's the case, then let me translate my opening sentence for you all. <coughs> the deal has been approved that will finally reunite the film rights to the X-Men and the Fantastic Four to Marvel and will allow them to be back home at Marvel Studios come 2019. I can't fucking stand y'all. It's been recently announced that instead of another Chucky movie coming out, we'll be getting a Chucky TV series instead. Okay, I'm, I'm only reacting this way not because I don't see the point, I, I, I do. After the whole Bride and Seed of Chucky movies, the last two movies were straight to DVD releases and it was, it was, it was on, its, on, its, on its last legs. But the way that made me initially react to this news the way that I did is that it's not being called Blank of Chucky the TV series, it's being called Child's Play the TV series. Which means this could either be a hard reboot of the series only in TV form, or a complete reimagining of the story like MTV did with the Scream TV series. And honestly, I, I wouldn't be opposed for either or. Albeit, I'll definitely give Bride of Chucky self-aware slash makes fun of itself points any day of the week, but as far as I'm concerned, like, the last good Chucky movie was, was Child's Play 3, real talk. And now with these straight to red box ass movies they've been doing lately, they're almost crossing the Jason X slash Leprechaun in the Hood territory. And you never go full Jason X slash Leprechaun in the Hood. I'm interested and please be good is pretty much what I'm saying. In an attempt to continue their Spider-Man side piece universe, Sony is attempting to make a good movie? I say that because word has gotten around that what might be replacing the Black Cat and Silver Sable movie is a movie about Silk. Which, if done right, could be a very good move on Sony's part for as far as making this pseudo MCU affiliated universe work. Because I I'm just going to be honest with you, I, I, I have very little to no faith in the Venom movie or the upcoming Morbius the Living Vampire movie, like, at all. I, 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 just, I just don't. And I say done right because of done wrong can be very, very damaging. Mostly because Silk, aka Cindy Moon, is Korean American. And if the Black Panther movie has taught us anything, it's that a great movie plus proper representation equals everything. And I want to have faith that they can pull it off, especially considering how good Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse looks. But at the same time, I'm still not convinced that this is going to be the movie that can convince me that Sony can make good Spider-Man affiliated movies on their own. I see the potential and how it can both heal and damage Sony if done either right or wrong respectively. So, we'll see. Remedy is thinking about making a sequel to the video game Alan Wake, aka the only way you're ever going to get me to buy an X-Bone if you don't bring back Fable. Now technically, Remedy only said that they have the rights to Alan Wake and that they would love to see a sequel out, but they can't say anything more than that. Which is technically still along the terms of them thinking about making a sequel, but doesn't necessarily confirm it. However, this does not change the fact that I really want this to happen. <laughs>
Mostly because I have very fond memories of myself playing Alan Wake 1, and I hate that I was too poor to buy all the DLC for back when it was alive on Xbox Live. And yes, I know I can probably find the full, complete version of the game on, like, Steam or some shit, but that requires that I have a gaming PC. And I do not. You know, just, just, just more of a reason for me to get my Patreon set up as quickly as possible. Or, you know, for y'all to just, just, just buy my merch. I'm just saying. MTV is giving Daria a reboot series, and I'm... kinda in? Mostly because I wasn't there for the original series when it initially aired. And that's not because I didn't like the show, I was just, I was, I was just never exposed to it. After all, the only animated show that I knew that MTV had was Beavis and Butthead, so at the time, I didn't know that MTV was capable of producing animation series that were, you know, good. It wasn't until my best friend later on down the line showed me some episodes of what I missed out on, and I immediately became jealous of, every, of everybody that had exposure to this show back when it was topical. So at least for my sake and everybody else who didn't necessarily grow up with this show, I hope it's good. If it isn't, I mean, at least the original still exists. Ah oh, man, I just, uh, I just immediately assumed that everybody was fine with this happening and not that their childhood was being ruined. <sighs> it's nice to dream. Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below any news stories that I might have missed, and I'll make sure and try and cover them next week. If you want to help support the channel, you can purchase official merchandise by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis101. Class dismissed.